Okay, so we have these <coughs> various representations of functions. We also know domains and ranges are important um, characteristic of these things. So we're going to go more into them. But before that, there is a little bit of a, <coughs> a prereq, um, which if you've already, if you you, if you you may already know, so you can skip, um, which is called using intervals. Okay, this is what that means. Um, if you have a number line, if you have say one to three, um, you have one to three, you have one to three and one to three. I can say that to all numbers from one to three, or I can say all numbers from one to three, but not one and three. I can say all numbers from one to three, including one, but not three, and all numbers from one to three, including three, but not one. Now these in interval notation, you use square bracket for when the number is included and round for Oh, sorry, round for when it is not included. Okay, so one, three, one, three. So we use this bracket for um, what we say end point included, and we use this bracket for end point not included. Okay, so we're going to use this representation for. Um, reading domains and ranges from a given graph. Now, a, a few special ones. Um, let's say you want to represent a solution which is everything less than 3 or everything that's negative 2 or greater than negative 2. So here we use a special symbol for infinity to 3 and, sorry, that should be square because negative 2 is included to infinity. Now notice this is negative infinity because <coughs> it's to the left. Those are all negative numbers. And this is positive infinity because it's to the right. So now let's come back to domains and ranges. Okay. So as we go, um, there are four representations of functions we have seen. Yeah? I can write a function as a map from A to B. As A, B, now let's use numbers, I guess. Negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can write a function f as negative 1, 7, 1, three, two, ten. I can give a function as a table of x and y values. Five, four, two, one, zero. And I can also give a function as A graph. Okay. Let's say whatever. The mapping is not really important for what we're trying to understand here. So we know how to find domain and range. So let's call domain D here. That's going to be negative 1, negative 2, 3. That's all the things that lines come out of. Range is 4, 5, 6. Domain here is all the first entries. So that's negative 1, 1, 2. The range is all the second entries. So 7, 3, 10. The domain here is all the inputs. So negative 1, 0, 1, 3, 4. And the range, the corresponding outputs, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. Now here, domain. Now here the domain is going to be an interval. Okay, why? That's x. So this goes from 0 
How do I know I can have all inputs? Is because no matter where I am on this red line, if I go up, I'm going to hit the function. So I say that the domain is 0 to infinity. Now for infinity and negative infinity, it's always going to be round bracket because you cannot include them. What about range? Now for range, I look at the y values. The y values go from 0, but they go only up to 1. As this arrow on this graph suggests that this function doesn't go beyond 1. So the range we would say is 0 to 1. So that's how you can read out um, domains and ranges from the graph. Let's look at some more examples for clarity. Let's say the function here um, stops here. So let's say this is negative 2, uh, this is 1, this is 3, this is 4, this is 2, this is negative 3. So first I want to find the domain. Now for domain here, um, my input can be, oh, wait, why is this not becoming red? Input can be negative, cannot be negative 2 because it's a hollow circle. But it can go from negative 2 to 1. And then it cannot, there is no output when the input is between 1 and 3. So it's not included. It goes from 3 to 4. So I'm going to write this as, negative 2 to 1 round because the endpoints are not included union 3 to 4 where 4 is square bracket because it's included this union sign means I'm connecting these two disconnected parts um, what about range for range I'm going to look at the y values and the y values again they, they cannot be negative 3 so it's a hollow dot and then they go to 2. So there's no output beyond 2 and there's no output below negative 2. So the range is negative 2 not included to 2 not included. So that's sort of um, information about finding domains and range. Now at this point you may want to refer to um, review 4 video um, which talks about intervals in more details, as well as um, unions and what they mean. So we're gonna end this video here. Um, we have a couple more things um, to discuss about functions and then we are done with that.